Hi everybody, Rob Keys here, wishing everyone a happy new year. It is officially 2014 and uh, lots of exciting stuff happening. I hope you're having a fun time if you're catching this video on New Year's Day. I hope you had a safe and fun night uh, with family and friends and I hope you had a safe time. Remember, just like I said during my Christmas video, be safe. If you're going to be out drinking, stay over at a friend's house. Make plans in advance. Use a taxi. Throw away your keys if you're driving somewhere. And be safe on the roads, not because of you, but because of weather conditions and other drivers might be driving under the influence. So now that that's out of the way, time for fireworks. Hopefully you can hear the sound. I'm trying to put the speaker there. This uh, is a quick video that went up about an hour ago from Sydney, Australia. They have, of course, already had their New Year's celebration. It's already 2014 there as of like a while ago because the international dateline puts them like 12 or 13 hours ahead. Uh, I was fortunate enough to go to Sydney last year for a day or two when I visited the set of the Wolverine. And it is a gorgeous and beautiful city and they always have huge celebrations around events like this. Uh, there's also on that on that channel, um, Best Clips Daily, they have um, the celebration videos of uh, Paris, France already up and a bunch of other countries around the world. So right now where I am at, just outside of Toronto in the Eastern Standard Zone, it is 6.53 p.m. I'm quickly recording this video to put something up at midnight. I'm gonna schedule it for midnight. So uh, again, if you see this early, Hope you had an awesome new year. I want to make take this time to do a very quick brief uh, uh, New Year's resolution. I've never really done a proper New Year's resolution. Uh, everyone I know who does it kind of says the same thing. I want to be more healthy. I want to go to the gym. I want to, you know, follow a strict uh, diet or, or spend more time with a certain group of friends or family or something like that. So for me, I made a quick list of five things, which is sort of along those lines, but these are things I'm very serious about and things I need to work on it and change. So the first thing is more something fun and that's this i, I want to be better about youtube 2013 was a test for me i created this fail cube channel to do some gameplay videos and i managed to do some live action videos uh on things like unboxing videos and i also want to get into more video blogs like i said in my christmas video so this is my second official vlog and uh, i hope to do these at least every couple of weeks or once a month but my bigger thing is i want to make sure i have a video going up every single day every single morning or afternoon and uh, I've already started doing that and uh, the key is the schedule so I've uploaded a pile of Tomb Raider videos a pile of videos from Mechware online and gone home and I plan to be playing the Stanley Parable this week as well uh, so I schedule it so I have one every single morning and sometimes I'll have two videos during the day so throughout January uh, in the first two weeks, you'll see it alternating between Gone Home and Tomb Raider every day, and I may toss in a MechWarrior video on one of those days as well. So stuff like that, just managing it better and doing like spending like two hours in a day and just scheduling like two or three weeks worth of stuff, making the thumbnails, putting in links. Uh, that way, I don't I don't have to micromanage it every day, but uh, at the same time, I can keep some fun content going up, um, and hopefully, I, I can get some more comments so I can talk to peoples and and talk to you guys. Uh, Number two, three, and four on my list of five are sort of work-life balance things. Uh, with my job at GameRant.com and ScreenRant.com, I'm, I'm very fortunate enough to work from home. Uh, and I've been working at home for a long time because I worked from home essentially during school as well. I did five and a half years at the University of Guelph. And uh, at least the, the latter two or three years in my grad studies there, I was working at home all the time doing big projects and making uh, programs for my economics studies and stats stuff. And... Uh, of course, the thesis required a lot of time at home. So I'm decent enough at managing my time at home. I'm always finding stuff to do. That's sort of the problem. I'm always finding stuff to do. I need to stop, stop. I need to take a break and stop. I need to get up in the morning instead of coming straight to the computer and catching up on news and finding stories that I think are worth discussing on the sites. Uh, just go downstairs and eat breakfast <laughs> instead of bringing breakfast up here to my office and, and doing that. Uh, in part two of that, or I guess this is three on my list, is uh, making sure I got time to do more stuff that I need need to do or want to do for fun. And that's like playing games. This year was a crazy year for video games with new consoles coming out, the PS4 and Xbox One. And even though I have both consoles and a lot of games for them, I barely had time to play them all. I played a lot of Forza, but I haven't even finished Rise yet. I haven't even started Assassin's Creed 4 yet. I barely played Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty on it. I mean, I finished the campaigns on PC and I have playthroughs uh, here and here on those, um, but I haven't been able to play online with my friends and the guys on Game Rant, and I need to make time for that. So this week, I already started doing that, kind of preparing for January 2014. Uh, I played Gone Home. I just sat down, spent two and a half hours to play that. I played a bunch of hours of Tomb Raider because it's one of the better games of the year, and I'm loving it. And you'll see, I already have like uh, a bunch of videos you can watch 
here and I scheduled a whole bunch for the first couple of weeks. So I want to make sure I have time to play the games uh, and not just write about them and watch my favorite YouTubers out there play it. I want to play it myself and make my own videos. Um, the next thing is uh, making time to read comic books. If you follow ScreenRed.com, uh, action movies and sci-fi movies and comic book movies are the biggest genres we cover. And uh, one of the big beats I cover most is like the big Marvel movies. And there's so many of them now because you got 20th Century Fox doing a lot more X-Men films and bringing back Fantastic Four. You have Sony Pictures uh, announcing multiple sequels to The Amazing Spider-Man, including spin-offs for Venom and The Sinister Six. Like Tons of fun stuff happening. And of course, Marvel Studios puts out two films a year already, live-action films, and they have like six or seven announced for the future. And they're getting into animated films next year as well. I think... Uh, what's it called? Big Hero 6 comes out next November. That's their first animated feature from Marvel Studios. So... Lots of stuff to cover, but because I've been covering so much movies and video games, I've kind of fallen out of comics a bit. And uh, I am like four years behind in my X-Men books, for example. So this week, uh, I've been taking um, the tablet here, and I have a subscription to Marvel Unlimited, thanks to my friend Agent M at Marvel.com. Shout out. Um, so I've been basically catching up on the Cable and X-Force stuff since, uh, since the Masai Complex crossover. And uh, that's when I was really hardcore into comics again. Uh, in my later years of university, and then I just kind of fell out of it. But with X-Men Days of Future Past hitting theaters in May, and X-Men Apocalypse already announced a sequel to that for 2016, um, you can read all about that. I'll put links in, in the description so you can see more details. If you don't have no idea what I'm talking about, I apologize, but I'll put links to the, our articles on those movies uh, on ScreenRant.com that I wrote, so you can kind of catch up and play along. Um, anyways, it's exciting stuff, and the comics are amazing, and the X-Force and Cable books... Uh, deal with time travel and the anti-mutant hysteria, the big themes in the books. And I think I think a lot of what the next two X-Men team-up movies are going to be about is that sort of stuff. And they've also already confirmed that there's an X-Force movie on the way, or at least there's a script done for it by Jeff Wadlow, the guy who wrote and directed Kick-Ass 2, which came out this summer. Um, so that's that. Um, number four on my big list... Uh, I know I'm going out of order here, but is, is um, uh, the physical exercise stuff. Um, I used to have a gym membership. I let it expire in September, so a couple of months ago, and I've been just kind of doing my own occasional workout here, but no cardio stuff. So what I want to do to keep it easy, because I work at home and work crazy hours all the time, is every time I get up from my chair to go downstairs to make a coffee or grab food or go grab the mail or anything, get up, drop, do 10 push-ups, do 10 sit-ups, go downstairs, do 10 pull-ups on the, on the beams in the basement, which I've been doing good enough, but I don't do it every day. I need to do it every single time I get up so I, I can mitigate the time required for me to actually go to the gym because I just don't have time. I don't have time to leave the house for two or three hours uh, on a daily basis. So I need to make do with what I have here. And I have a bunch of equipment and weights in the basement, so I want to make sure I use them every single day, not just every couple of days. And um, I just bought some new running shoes, so I need to find a place to do some cardio work as well. Because you got to stay healthy, you got to stay fit. That should be a priority for me. So I want to do that. And last but not least is uh, budgeting. And I'm not talking about budgeting time, which a lot of my points are about, but budgeting money. Um, I've been very poor about keeping track of all my expenses. Uh, I've done a lot of travel this year, and I haven't been doing my bookkeeping properly, so or at all in some cases. So I got piles and piles and piles of receipts and, and receipts online from online purchases, like games and movies and stuff. And uh, i got to do a better job of doing the bookkeeping so I can find out what I'm spending uh, now that we have condo fees and stuff like that in this place and, and more car bills piling up and all more bills for insurance and heating and hydro, all the usual life stuff, plus all the entertainment stuff and tech I need to buy for work. Uh, I need to manage that better because I want to see if I have enough money to do something I really, really want to do uh, and get a giant, enormous dog. Um, I, if, you don't, if you know anything about me, I grew up on a farm with horses and I've always had dogs in my life. I love dogs. I really want one here, and uh, I'm in a good situation where I work from home and I can, can, can be here for the dog. So I want to get the biggest dog I'm legally allowed to own. Uh, but before I just go and adopt one, uh, and I want to adopt a dog who's like two or three years old and already house trained. Instead of getting a puppy and doing the whole training thing, I want to get an experienced, uh, I almost said veteran dog, but just uh, an adult dog, a young adult dog. Um, who's already proven that you can handle a house and, and other dogs and stuff like that. So but before I do that, I need to make sure I can cover the cost properly. So um, that's my list of five New Year's resolutions. Um, again, I hope you're having an awesome New Year, and here's thumbs up to a bigger and better 2014. 
Please like and subscribe and leave a comment on uh, what you would like to do in 2014, your New Year's resolutions. Oh, and one more thing. I put up a huge post on ScreenRant.com yesterday on our 20 most anticipated films of 2014. It's a list, com- list combining my own uh, uh, thoughts and what I'm anticipating and the rest of the ScreenRant editorial staff. And I'm sure everyone's got their own opinions on what they're most excited for. So please leave a comment below. I'll put a link to that article, but I want to hear what movies and games you're most excited about in 2014. And I also want to hear what your New Year's resolution is, if you have one, or if you have any suggestions about how I can do mine and make sure I'm, I'm following the strict guidelines. Cheers, and see you next time.